Hey guys, so it's been um, ages since I made a video, I guess a couple weeks anyway. Um, we've had a lot go on. Um, my husband and I um, just got back from a trip to Mexico. Anyone who follows me on Instagram probably saw me post um, a couple pictures from there. Uh, my husband's company actually took everyone in their families for a a week-long vacation um, on the Yucatan Peninsula and it was really good. It was um, the first vacation we took our little guy on, he's six months, and he had his first food in Mexico and he did wonderfully. And in fact we're actually going on another trip in just a couple of days. We're going to take a trip um, across Canada to visit a couple of friends. So we're we're busy busy. Um, so. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible, but I've got a lot to show you. I've got some I've got some whips and I've got some haul. No finishes yet. I was hoping I'd have my first finish of 2016 in the bag, but um not yet. Um so I'll update you on my styles and yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, oh, one thing I'm really excited about, we don't have a local needle workshop um, in Nova Scotia, um, but when we go across Canada, we're stopping in some places that do have needle workshops, so I'm really excited to actually go to one and maybe buy some specialty floss and um, check out some patterns and stuff, and uh, hopefully have some more haul in the next video. Um, just a heads up, my son's having a bath right now. Um, so you might hear him in the background when he has to get out of the bath. He's not happy about it. Um, he loves his bath time. So, okay, so whips. I'm just going to run through this pretty quick. I don't remember where I was in my projects, um, in my last video, but I've gotten a little bit done on everything. I don't have a rotation, but, um, what I've kind of been doing... I don't want to have feel like I have to stick to something and um, I think if I actually do like a structured rotation I'll just get put off um, put off of what I'm working on and anyway so, so occasionally I've been um, picking like I get up in the morning and just choose to work on a project for the day and then the next day I'll try to work on something different I guess it's kind of a rotation but um, not like a strict you know this week I'm gonna work on this or I'm gonna work on this for 30 minutes and then switch or whatever it's 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 just kind of more what I feel like working on okay so this one first one my Thomas Kincaid Disney Castle I can't tell if I'm auto focusing well or not but anyway um so I was not loving working on this one before um, as much as I wanted to but then thanks to Tracy P for her uh, video where she talked about ha her heads and parking um, this isn't a head but I it, it's 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 pretty full coverage and I had never done any parking before so I gave it a shot and I actually really start to love working on this. So thanks, Tracy, for that. Um, I did go back and watch Carolyn Mazio's parking video, and it was super helpful as well. So I'm just trying to fold this up so you can see it. Okay, so last time I just had some of the sky done, I'm pretty sure. So what I was doing was starting at the end, like the beginning of a uh, column, and working down, but at the same time working over to finish off the thread. Um, then, since I started parking, I'm just going down the column in 10 by, I'm doing 10 by five, and then slowly moving down. Um, just because I find five down easier to deal with than ten down. So there, I'm actually starting to get into the the trees here, and I'm enjoying it a lot more. And I find it's it's going quicker. I'm making fewer mistakes. 
Um, so yeah, I'm a parking convert. I couldn't figure out before I watched Carolyn's video how, like how did you know what the threads were when you have a bunch in similar colors when they were parked? Like how did you know what you're working with? But I didn't understand how it all worked and how you actually park the thread in the next spot that the color appears. I didn't know that. And anyway, I love that. So that's my Disney castle. I still never looked up the name of it. I don't know why. I never um, Googled it to find out what the actual name of that project is. Um, okay. So there's a new, um, there was a challenge posted in Cross Stitch and Discuss and the idea was to um, work on a project um, and finish it in three months and it had to have a literary theme so it had to be themed around books so since I already had this in my sash the bookshelf by Little House Needleworks I decided to work on that also while I was away this is the project it took away with me and I didn't work on it much I worked on it just a little bit on the plane so there we go I've got the middle most of the middle vine done and just some of the words around there so I'm pretty sure I can get this done in the three months if you finish your project in three months you get entered into a draw for a goodie bag so that was a new start since my last video I think I have three new starts okay yesterday the, um, the newest piece of the Pumpkin Passport from Frosted Pumpkin was released. So I've got I've got England completed with my little my little TARDIS. I've got France completed. And what I did this is this bird was charted um, in these colors, but this one was supposed to be the same. Um, but there's actually a I saw someone post this. Um, in the, I think it was in the Frosted Pumpkin Stitch Along group, but there's actually a European um, robin that is found mainly in France, and it has this these colorings. So it's just one of the little um, edits I did on that customizations, and I did go ahead and add the French flag to the top of the Louvre pyramid. And the most recent one is the Netherlands, and there's tulips and a um, a windmill and a, a few um, buildings that you'd find along the canal, and some water. And but this is what I've got done today: the tulips and just a little bit of the windmill. There we go. So I'm really, I'm really, really loving this. So, like traveling is probably my my favorite thing to do, and. Uh, so I'm really liking this piece. And I've been thinking, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I'm thinking when it's done, I might turn it into like a little pillow, a little um, rectangle cushion. I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, my small bathroom dimensions. I think the last time I just had this counter and maybe I had part of this creepy doll done. But I put in a tiny bit of the sink and some other little things on top. I finished back stitching the doll and I started on the mirror. I haven't touched this one in a while. Um, I still I still really like it. It's kind of fun to pick away at. Um, but yeah, I've not I've not worked on this one a whole lot. And I'll just show again in case you haven't seen it before. This is what it's going to look like when it's finished. And my mother um, did this one. She always had it hanging in the bathroom. And so, yeah, she gave me this pattern. So it's a little bit nostalgic. I'm just doing that one on um, 14 count Ada. I don't, I don't use the 14 count Ada a whole lot, um, but for some smaller ones. Um, I kind of like it. Okay, my Harry Potter. So I'm doing the giant Harry Potter. There's a Harry Potter stitch along in 
cross stitch and discuss. And I haven't gotten a whole lot done on this. Um, I think last time I had this blue swirly bit and part of that gold down here. This is going to be the H in HP for Harry Potter. I did get this green piece of the border finished. Um, and this is the start of the banner. But I would have gotten more done except this one here. I frogged that and put it back in I think three times. I always miscounted something. Um, and I'm doing this uh, one over one on 28 Monaco, maybe? Yeah, I think it is. I think it's 28 Monaco. Um, I didn't want to do it um, two over two because then the fabric would have been so huge that I wouldn't have been able to purchase any fabric. So one over one, it's still pretty, pretty massive. And that's that. I don't have a picture um, of what the completed piece is going to look like. So I can't show you that, but I'm sure most of you know. And you can just give it a quick look up. It's by Cloud Factory. Um, okay, my world map, which is my Janling kit. I got this for Christmas from my parents. And the last time I showed you, I had this hemisphere, this part of the hemisphere done, the sun, half the sun, and I think I had a little bit down here. So all I did was I added more of these trees and the, um, the bark and stuff here. And then I did start on this piece of land mass up there. So not too much. Um, I did have to frog a lot of this when I was when I was working on it. I found that I made a lot of mistakes um, in here, so I took a lot out and uh, had to redo that. The way that I'm rushing and it's it's probably not very exciting, but um. I've got like two days to pack three of us up again, finish wa doing laundry from our trip, and pack us up so we can um, we can go away again, which is, it's crazy. But yeah, we're running out of time and there's so much to do. But I figured I really wanted to get a video done. Okay, so I'm sure most of you know about the, war the year starts. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned it before or not, but um, in Stitch Mania, the, the Facebook group, a lot of people are doing um, the year starts. So they're starting, um, they're doing some kind of starting challenge. Well, either they're starting a new project every day, um, like the Stash Queen, the Queen of Starts, and I think there's a couple other people doing that. Or maybe you're starting a new one every week. But I'm starting a new one, my plan was to start a new one on the first of every month. Um, this was my start, so my, my January start was my... What did I start for January? Um, oh, okay, well I'll show you this first then. My January start was my All Creatures Great and Small. That is, I feel like a disaster. Everything's falling over over here. <laughs> That's this one, All Creatures Great and Small, take it out of the plastic, by Barbara Anna, Barbara Anna Designs. There we go. Um, this is, I'm doing this with the Stitch Along with the Sampler World Facebook group, and this is going really slowly. Um, I'm nowhere near where I hope to be with this, but I love it. This is on 40 count linen, and it's taking me a really long time to do. Um, but last time I was working on doing the gray on this house down here, and I did finish the gray. And now I'm working on the windows. So there we go. Stephanie, I know you're disappointed. You wanted me to finish this house. It didn't happen. Um, I did work on this one day. Um, I had planned, I co-planned a stitching day locally because I didn't know about any. So 
in uh, in another Facebook group, Canadian cross stitching group. Um, myself and a friend Anne planned a really fun stitching day where we had. I think we had eight ladies out um, for our first one, and we're gonna try and do it a few times, a few more times, and uh, we've had a lot of interest. So, if you're in Canada and you live in Nova Scotia, um, message me in the uh, Cross Stitch Canada, so X Stitch Canada Facebook group, and I'll give you all the information. Um, I did work on this there, uh, and we were probably there. I think we. Were, stitching from like 9 until 4 with a few, you know, lunch break and a lot of chatting and I still didn't get this finished. Maybe I chatted too much. I don't know. But anyway, um, I was really hoping I'd have a lot more done. A lady in the group actually broke this pattern up into several blocks um, and what I have done right now was January's plus there are two like tall flowers on either side. Let me see if I can show you those. Right here, these flowers. That was supposed to be done in January. So I'm I'm really far behind. I can't work on this in the evenings or when the light's low, like if it's a dark cloudy day cuz I find it's it's too it's too fine for me to work on and I don't have a magnifier. I need to get some of those um but they mag eyes that uh, like Tracy and Leticia talk about. That's what I need. Um, okay. So anyway, so February, the year starts. So February, I decided to start this. This is, what is this called? Christmas Eve Delivery, and it's by Frosted Pumpkin, and it's in the Just Cross Stitch Ornaments issue. So there we go. This will probably be my first finish, I imagine. There's not that much left to it. And this is my first Christmas um, theme design I've done. So I've got this border left and then the rest of Santa to go. And I'm doing this on an Irish linen and it's just from Michael's. Um, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Maybe turn it into like a little p cushion to hang on the tree or um, I could use it on a card. I might actually use it on a card, a Christmas card. I think that would be really pretty. Yeah, so I like that. So that's February's. Um, okay, so March 1st, just a couple of days ago. I thought the new Frosted Pumpkin... Um, the new piece for the Frosted Pumpkin Stitch Along would be out early in the morning. I thought it would be out at like 8 o'clock. So I'm sitting refreshing my phone, my email, waiting for it to come in and wondering why it's not there. So I go and post in the Stitch Along group asking when it comes in. Not until 9 o'clock at night, my time. So prior to this, I decided that I had too many whips on the go. Um, too much stuff going on and I was not going to start something new. I was throwing in the towel for the year of starts. Um, I don't know how many I have. I didn't count them. I must have like eight on the go. And for me that's way overwhelming. And I was not going to start something new. Dead set against it. But then I'm sitting and waiting and Frosted Pumpkin's not coming out. So I decide, what the heck, I'm going to start something new. I've got lots of material. Um, okay, a friend of mine found, or saw the picture of this, I didn't even know it was a cross stitch pattern at the, at the time, but found this picture on Facebook and told me how much she liked it because she's a chocoholic. And someone in a floss tube video a while ago was flipping through a magazine and showed this picture and then said which magazine it's in. So then I'm on the Canadian Stash on Love group, and um, a lady posted that she had this magazine for sale. So I snapped it up, and I thought I'd make this for her. She's such a sweet friend, and she's always um, like sending us little things, and she gave my son a Christmas present, so I'm going to stitch it for her. So this is what I got done on March 1st while I was waiting for the Frosted Pumpkin to come out. 
So I've got, here's the, let me see, ah, whatever. Here's the design. I've got the checkered tablecloth done and the layers of the cake. And a little bit on the ice cream sundae dish. This should not take me long. Actually, this might end up being my first finish. We'll see. Um, I'd like to have this done to send her maybe in the summer. And I'm, so I'm going away this weekend, and I might take this with me for a traveling project. I'm going to be gone, I think, I don't know, like a week and a half or something. And we're just visiting friends, so probably lots of time to sit around and um, do some stitching, like, while we're just chatting or whatever. So maybe I'll bring that. We'll see. Um, okay. I'm sorry I flew really fast through that, but what am I at? Like 20 minutes? Um, I'm just so overwhelmed with all the stuff I have to do. Okay. So haul. I had, I bought a lot of stuff between um, like January and now, and I'm not going to show everything because that's just... That would just be crazy. A lot of it's magazines and, um, I don't know, just, just random. It's a fabric. Actually, I can show you. I've got a drawer right below me full of stuff. Um, maybe I'll show some of this too. Okay. So, here's what I got. Um, okay, so I got this piece of fabric. It is from Silk Weaver Hand Dyed Fabrics, and it's a 20A count. And for the life of me, I cannot remember the name of this color, so it's probably not even worth showing, but it's just a little piece of a nice baby blue. It is hand dyed, so it's lightly modeled. This, it's like a light, the color's pretty true there. It's a light blue with a bit of white in there, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. But it was a really good deal. Um, a lady was just selling it on the Canadian Stash Unload, I believe. And uh, couldn't pass it up. So I did buy that. Um, I have a couple more pieces of um, antique white linen coming. That were also a really good deal. So just kind of stocking up. It's not usually my thing to do, but we're doing it. Um, this came in the mail today. I got it from eBay. Um, I'm kind of in love with the ink circles patterns. I think I might have mentioned that before that my, my wish list is like all ink circles, but I'm a bit of a science geek. My husband and I love sciencey stuff. And so this is Quaker genetics. So it's a Punnett square, um, made up of a couple Quaker motifs. So I think that's really geeky and fun. Um, I don't know when I'll get to it, but I'm going to check for, it. Call, it it's charted with gentle arts, um, flosses. So when I'm away, I'm going to go to the LNS and see if I can find some fun, um, variegated flosses. Cause I can't get those here. All I can get are the DMC variegated from Michaels and I'm not really a big fan. So, uh, picking up some, um, hand dye floss would be really fun to do for this. Um, okay. I bought... Ooh, where'd it go? Under here. So, from Erica Sage with True North Needle Minders. She's my favorite needle minder company right now. I bought this little guy, this R2D2. And then she told me that she could make me a set to go along with him. Um, a scissor fob, a frogger, like a picker, and a pair of scissors. Um, so first she gave me these scissors. And they've got, I don't know. It'll, there we go. They're blue with little gold stars. So... Kind of Star Wars-y. But then, she made me this scissor fob. It's BB-8. And I just think he's adorable. 
and then there's just this third picker to go along with it. It's the same, um, same beads along that. Love it. And I think I have, she had some contests going and I think, I can't remember, but I think I won one of them. So I think she'll have something else coming to me soon and I can show you that. But yeah, True North Mind, True, True North Needle Minders, I think it is, or True North Minders, Erica Sage anyway. I, I'm a big, big fan. Um, okay. Mackenzie from um, The Lovely Array, she reviewed this book. She got this book for Christmas and she reviewed it and as soon as she reviewed it I went on Amazon. I don't think her video was even over. I went on Amazon and ordered it. So it's Designer Cross Stitch Projects. There we go. I'm not going to go through everything um, but she she talks about it really well in her, um, in her video so go check her out. Um, I'm just going to show, I'm, I'm totally unprepared for this, I should have um, marked the pages, but um, my husband loves bugs, He'll let's say insects, because apparently a, not all insects are bugs, but all bugs are insects, bug is like some subgroup of insect or something, so he, anyway, he's a big insect fan, that was like a really geeky tangent, but anyway, so he saw this and said this would be cool to have. It's a beetle, so I will eventually, you can't really see all the colors, it's like, let me see, nah, forget it, anyway, it's like really pretty greens and blues, um, it says a beautiful taxidermy inspired bug in dazzling shades of green and gold, um, yeah, so I'm going to make that for him, and I really like for me, this, like I said, traveling is my thing, and this really cool passport holder. I don't have one, and I think that's super cute. And of course, this book comes with all the instructions and in how to make the finished project. I'm also really in love with this bag. Um, where I live is all pretty well all apple farming, apples and chickens really, but um. And the apple farming here is a big, big industry, and so I love, I love anything with apples, and uh, I just think that bag is is really, really cute. I'm going to show you one more thing that I'm already planning to um, make a few of these for people. Um, I have some people in mind. So there's a pin cushion. I think it's a really big pin cushion, um, and. I believe this is a needle book. There we go. I just love them. And it says, you're so lovely. It's got a little, like the little thimble and the needle and the bobbins. And super cute. I'm going to make that for sure. And I think that was all I really wanted to show. I mean, there's a lot of other designs in here I really like. Um, and I might make, but those ones are for certain on my list. Okay. Oh, I'll show you this. I got this, I picked up this bag at Michael's. Um, it's a DMC, I'm looking for my other one. I showed this in my other video. I got this one for Christmas, this little, this little kit. Um, but it doesn't hold a whole lot. It holds like enough for maybe one project if you have a small chart and uh, not a whole lot of fabric. So I wanted one that would hold several projects at the same time. So I got this bag and I'll just walk you through it really quick. There's a nice handle. It's DMC like I said. And just see what I'm in there I'm showing you. Okay, there's all these pockets. A nice, um, a nice size pocket here where you can put longer things in it. I just have some random floss. This little flap. This isn't a pocket, and I wish it was. I wish I could put, like, my scissors or something in here. But there's this little flap and this needle, this felty needle holder thing. Another little pocket. And then I have a sleeve that folds out that holds my flosses. These are actually my all my flosses for my frosted pumpkin. 
and I have maybe just one or two more that didn't fit in here. But what are these called again? Are they floss bows? Is that what they're called? Anyway, I hold those just like the other one. And then the other side has, I don't know if you can hear that. That's my washing machine. The other side has a large pocket and I keep um, like two or three projects in here. I have my Harry Potter and my Dimensions little country bathroom one that I store in there because they don't take up a lot of space right now because um, I don't even have half of the threads yet for my Harry Potter. I'm kind of just buying them as I go because who knows when that will be finished. I am making it for a friend in particular though, so, and she knows about it. Um, so I'm going to have to finish it soonish, I guess. Hope, maybe this year, but probably not. Um, okay, so in my last video, this is only kind of cross stitch related. In my last video, I was showing my finishes, and one of my finishes was an Aladdin, like a really minimalist Aladdin pattern, and I mentioned that. <clears throat> I had done that for a craft swap on Instagram. Well, my partner really liked it, and um, I got my package in the mail, and I was so happy. So again, I'll tell you about it. It was called the Disney Dudes Craft Swap, and the idea is you send a mosaic of your favorite um, male Disney characters. You post one on Instagram, and your mystery partner uses that and some other information Um to make you crafts and it was like one medium or three smalls and then usually some other extras. I had posted um, a bunch that I liked but um, two of them were, so one is the Hitchhiking Ghosts from the Haunted Mansion and another one was uh, Peter Pan. So in my box was, these are two of the things, these are the crafty things I got. She made me this little pouch which I'm going to use um, to store some like flosses and scissors and things and the inside has this like ghosty what's on here okay there we go there's like a Dracula and a Frankenstein and a mummy on the inside but yeah the outside has the three hitchhiking ghosts from the haunted mansion and the back says tomb sweet tomb which if you don't know, there's in the Haunted Mansion Disney, there is a cross-stitch sampler on the wall. And it has a floral, ba uh, floral, floral border. And it says Tomb Sweet Tomb on it. Um, so I'm so excited to get this. That's so cool. And the other thing I got, which I am just completely blown away, is a mini quilt. Let me sit back a bit so you can see it. But here we go. It's a mini quilt of Peter Pan. And this is all really tiny little, I guess they're one by one inch quilt blocks sewn in. And let me show you the back. I, I, I can't sew, I don't make quilts, so I'm just really blown away by how beautiful this is. I might have to get in closer to show you the stuff. But I can, you can see all the stitching on the back and it's got these pockets here for hanging and I'll just give her a little shout out let me see okay so my partner was um, her Instagram is at quilt n so s e w and she has, I don't have her card with me right here, but she, um, she's a shop and she sells these. So if you want to check out some of her mini quilts, check them out. So it's at quilt, the letter N, and so, S-E-W. And uh, Sarah Pitcher is her name. I'm sure she wouldn't mind me saying that because I think it's on her Instagram site. Um, but it's just amazing. And... I'm planning, I think, on putting it in my son's room. Right now, I've been using it just for a quick... I don't want it to get dirty, so I don't use it very much, but I've been using it um, just for a quick little mat if I have to lay my son down while I do something. Um, 
it's specifically in my bathroom so it's been hanging on my bathroom and yeah like when I need to get ready in the morning I I will just lay him on that for a few minutes so I think that's everything um, I still have to pick a project to take away with me I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet I don't want to take something that's too big or that has too many colors um, but I also don't want to take something that you know I'm gonna finish really quickly or whatever and or get bored of and yeah, so I have to do some thinking um, oh I'll show you one other thing um, someone else on Instagram um, Instagram's amazing like I've just been so blown away with people's kindness and um, craftiness and everything else but someone, uh, a girl on Instagram had posted that she had little packs of fabric and like the first, I don't know, like five people to say they were interested, she would send it to them. So I happen to be one of those people. So I'm just going to run through these really quick. I'd love to take a couple pieces of this and turn it into a project bag. You know, where you have, who showed nice project bags? in one of their videos. Let me think. Was it Lindy Stitches? Was it Stephanie? Did you show project bags? I feel like you might have. Anyway, so they're like like this big maybe, the zipper like part way down from the top and um, nicely lined. That's what I want to make. I don't know how to make it so I'm gonna have to find somebody who will make it for me. So if you can sew a project bag and I can mail you some fabric and you have some free time I would really appreciate it. Just let me know in the comments. Anyway, so most of it's Doctor Who related. So really quickly, there's this piece, and they're just scraps. They're just like quilting scraps, so they're not very big, but I think if a few were put together, it'd be really cute. And there's some mashups. Like, there we go. This is Merida and the TARDIS. Lots of Disney mashups. I won't show you everything, but... There we go, Rapunzel and the TARDIS. There's a little tiny... Um, Katie, I don't know if you're watching my videos, but um, which way is it? There we go. There, exploding TARDIS, just a little tiny piece, so I don't even know what to do with that. But that one is a little shout out to you. Uh, what else do we have here? Ooh, this one's probably my favorite. I'll just show you this one and just two more. This one's probably my favorite. There we go. Sleeping Beauty. Is that Sleeping Beauty? I think so. Yeah, Sleeping Beauty in the Forest with the TARDIS and the Owl. Um... There we go, Elsa. And then this one's the most substantial piece. It's almost not quite a canvas, but it's like a heavy fabric. And Snow White. Snow White, TARDIS, Wishing Well. There we go. Um, and there's a few other things that just aren't as interesting, but yeah, a stack of fabric came, and I'm not sure what I'm going to use everything for, but like I said, project bag is like way up there because I definitely, I'm kind of out of control. Like I've got this huge stash, it's all, a, a, not a huge stash, a stack, <laughs> a huge stack of, um, of whips. Huge for me, not compared to some of you, but for me it's huge and uh, I need to get it under control. It's usually, it's all over my coffee table so that if I feel like working on one, I can just grab one, and it's it's too much. It's got to go. My husband's going to be driven crazy by it by now. Um, so that's that. I can't think of anything else I really wanted to talk about. Um, oh, yeah, one one other quick thing. In my last, in my, one of my, I only have two videos. <laughs> in one of my videos, I mentioned that with my... Um, my All Creatures Great and Small. So, this sampler, it was on, like, stretcher bars, and I was not feeling working on it. Like, it just wasn't, 
it wasn't all that appealing to me like I thought it would be and I figured out it's because of the bars it was really awkward the way I had it set on there to hold it and it was kind of floppy like it, the tension was terrible so I dug out a hoop um, and put it on the hoop it made a world of difference I'm loving working with the hoop again which I didn't think I did I kind of swore off the hoop and was going for the Q-snap um, but I lent my mother, um, I lent my mother my key snaps so she could try one out. And so I've been, um, just using this hoop for everything and I'm a big fan. The tension's perfect. The key snaps not giving me the kind of tension I like. Um, and Kate had, uh, the stash queen had in her video some while back, um, the way to get like the perfect tension in your hoop. And it's great. So the basic idea is you put your fabric in and you kind of alternate between tightening the screw in the top and then pulling your fabric and then tightening the screw and pulling the fabric and doing that just for um, a few adjustments and you get like the perfect tension. Anyway, so that's been, um, that kind of fixed a lot of my, my aggression towards the, uh, the giant sampler. Um, still didn't get that house done though but I'm working on it I'm working on it by the time my next video comes out I'm gonna have that house done and the little flowers on the side and I'm gonna be really proud of myself so that's everything if you have any questions for me please put them below I'm sorry this video is so rushed and although I'm looking at the counter on my on my camera and it says like 40 minutes so by the time I cut a few things out it'll probably be like 38 or whatever um so I guess it's not that that rushed. But anyway, I'm sorry for the hecticness. And I, I think there was a lot of other things I wanted to say. But my brain is just unpacking right now. I'm still trying to figure out how you take a six-month-old and all the stuff he needs across the country for a week and a half. Um, but there we go. Um, we'll see you next time. Bye.